I happen to think he's got a lot of charisma and uh, ability. It's just, uh, I just don't think it's, uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I just don't think he's done his best. Well, I mean, is there something you would point to to say, you know, I feel like he's sort of phoning it? Well, he's actively involved in all the national issues. That's not that's not uh, something I dispute. I happen to think Barack Obama is a great candidate, also, and he's strongly supported. But I think for for whatever reason, uh, the fact of the matter is that that's the sense that I get that he's not uh, putting uh, at least not putting what I'm putting into my my job, and uh, I'm not. I don't want to get into. Uh, ask him about whether I'm right or I'm wrong, but that's just my observation. I think it has an impact in the polls that I mentioned that, uh, you know, what your own polls show. But, uh, you know, this, I, I think it's connected to the economy, frankly. Uh, we see a lot of political rhetoric about how great the state is doing, and particularly in comparison to other states. Uh, that's just not correct. I'm the chief fiscal officer. I see the data every day. It comes into my office, I review it. I sit on the Board of Public Works and vote on the spending. I can pretty much guarantee you that on the public side, it's okay. I have 1,100 employees. I have not laid a single employee off in six years because of the bad economy. That's good. I'm happy that I haven't had to lay people off because of the bad economy. Private sector is I have a lot of data that shows that the private sector wage growth, both hourly and weekly, is almost dead last in the country. Our unemployment is uh, a huge problem. Um, the governor puts out information that says we're doing just great, and I guess people have their own statistics. I would suggest that the tiebreaker, Andy, in this issue of whether the state's doing well or not, go out on the street and bring in 20 businessmen recruited at random, small business, medium business, big business. Sit them down in this room and ask them whether Maryland is a good place to do business. And I'll tell you to a person who would say no. Part of that is merits, you know, they have complaints about taxes or regulations or something. A lot of it's just perception. And perception is reality. And the reality is, look to our South, Virginia. They are cleaning our clock. As far as employment, uh, as far as uh, all of the normal measurements, private sector wage growth, last year went up 5%. In Virginia was at negative 1.5%. Uh, here in Maryland, there are 30 or 40 Fortune 500 companies that are located down there. We have a couple up here. So that, 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 that reality, in my view, needs to be changed. Uh, but I think it's the economic uh, lack of private sector economic recovery which is dragging down the governors, uh, both ratings and, frankly, uh, my assessment of. So